Howard is the most lucky section. Please give it up for the beautiful Harriet Kelmsley. Hello, this is nice. Uh, it's uh, very nice to be in Bath because uh, I live in um, in London, a place called Shoreditch. Uh, oh, we've got some Shoreditch people in. Uh, if you didn't know, it's kind of where all the really cool, trendy people live. And uh, you can tell that they're all really cool uh, because none of them speak to me. Uh, not because they don't like me, I don't think. Um, I think it's because I read in ID magazine, uh, the fashion bible, that silence is going to be massive in 2012. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you heard it here first. <laughs> or should I say... <laughs> no, but I actually, I live on the border of Shoreditch and Hackney, and uh, Hackney's a bit different, uh, it's quite tough. You might remember it from such things as a uh, hashtag London riots. <laughs> no, but I actually, I find it quite an inspirational place to go jogging, uh, because you don't want to stop. <laughs> um, you can tell if someone lives in a trendy Shoreditch or Hackney by asking if they're allergic to gluten. Because everyone in Shoreditch is allergic to gluten and uh, most people in Hackney don't know what gluten is. <laughs> but, uh, if you're not sure whether you're in Shoreditch or Hackney, the best thing to do is to buy a can of Coke. And uh, if it contains raw cane sugar, you're in Shoreditch. Whereas if it says multi-pack, not to be sold separately, then you're in Hackney. <laughs> No, uh, I do really like living in London, but um, I do have a bit of an irrational fear of being raped. <laughs> like, I guess it's not really an irrational fear. Uh, I guess an irrational fear would be if I fear being raped by, like, Stephen Fry or something. <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, I carry this rape alarm around with me wherever I go, um, but I mean, I don't have it with me right now. That would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I like to accessorize with it as a necklace <laughs> because I feel that it represents female sexual empowerment uh, through fashion. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I carry it around with me, but I do get a bit worried and a bit embarrassed that I might look a bit presumptuous. <laughs> and then it might go off by accident in some crowded place and some wanker will be like, yeah, might want to think about washing your hair first off. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, but no, I do really like living in London, uh, apart from my irrational fear of being raped by Stephen Fry. Uh, it's fine, I just uh, avoid water stones. <laughs> and Twitter. I uh, know, but I did actually, I learned quite a lot about sexual assault last year. I learned there's different types, including, oh my goodness, what a complete misunderstanding. Rape. <laughs> I thought that you wanted to. Uh, no, I say get off me. <laughs> oh, I thought you were shouting Rolly Hoffley. <laughs> Who's a chap I went to school with? <laughs> no. <laughs> and no offence, love, but you did look quite slut slutty when you were jogging through the park. I mean, I definitely thought you were up for it from where I was hiding in the bushes. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sorry. My dad always used to say I should be careful how I dress because it can give boys the wrong impression. I'll tell you what, I'll go to the police. You plead guilty, you should be out in 18 months. <laughs> that was a sketch about rape. <laughs> uh, it was performed by Harriet Kemsley with uh, words by Ken Clark. Uh, <laughs> the Justice Secretary. Uh, still, uh, no, that's actually it's a quite well written sketch. 
Uh, it actually translates really well into French. Uh, for instance, you'd say, performed by Harriet Kemsley with words by Dominique Strauss-Kahn. Uh, <laughs> the head of the IMF. You just, you had to cut the bits about prison and justice. <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> I also, um, I worry quite a lot about CCTV. Um, because if I become a missing person, then everyone's going to know what I bought in Tesco's the night before. <laughs> so that affects a lot of my purchasing decisions. Because <laughs> I mean, how embarrassing. If you remember, as the girl who bought tampons and a box of donuts before her mysterious disappearance. <laughs> How embarrassing for everyone to know that you bleed. <laughs> uh, they say the world is overpopulated. I mean, that's quite worrying because uh, I still can't find a boyfriend. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I always seem to go for the wrong kind of guys. And my friend Julia was like, don't worry, Harriet. They always say that you marry your father and your dad is a really good guy. And I was like, yeah, no, I know, but I feel bad because he's already married. <laughs> and she is really nice. And there are children involved. Uh, I've also I've got a bit of an irrational fear of being urinated on by a rhinoceros. She knows. Uh, but I guess that's not really an irrational fear either, because uh, that actually happened to me. Um, when I was seven at Portland Wild Animal Park. <laughs> like I was so covered in rhinoceros urine uh, that my mum had to take me into the disabled toilets and dry me off under the hand dryer. And uh, that's when I learned, if there's anything worse than being covered in cold rhinoceros urine, it's warm rhinoceros urine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not very good with boys, so I, um, I decided to write a list of things that you don't want to hear on a first date. Um, number one is, wow, you are hungry! <laughs> you see when I take a date out, she just like picks around the plate, only eats half, but you wolf that down! <laughs> number two is, geez, you've made an effort! Thanks. Uh, has no one ever taken you to Nando's before? And then three is, are you wearing a rape alarm? <laughs> hey, but, uh, they say that perseverance is the key to success, but I don't think this is true with relationships. Like, I've never heard a man say, I just really loved her, her perseverance. <laughs> Uh, but no, you might be surprised, I'm not actually very good at speaking to people. Uh, quite often people come up to me and they're like, Oh, you're really sweet, you're really shy. And I'm like, Oh, I don't know, it's not that, I, I just think that you're a dick. <laughs> but, um, I'm particularly not very good at speaking to homeless people. And uh, I live in Shoreditch, home of vintage fashion, so it's actually quite hard to work out who the homeless people are. <laughs> Yeah, no, a lot of my friends are worrying about, um, because everyone's starting to settle down and my friends are panicking about it a bit. And I think my best friend summed it up best when we were on a train on the way to a hen do when she said, even the fucking toilet's engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Yay! Let's hear again from Harriet, fantastic stuff, they're right on the nail. Intimate, hello.